phi of x sub k, which is not wrong, but it is, um, I will make a joke, um, write a Newton's law. It's a um, real history from, sure, I can write a Newton's law. <laughs> So formally correct, right? So uh, this more specifics is, is better. Now eigen energy it is uh, what we what we got just a minute ago. H bar square p square over two m. Or instead we can we can write h bar square here. Or instead we can do K. I'm not giving good grade to myself. K squared two M H bar squared. Yes. So eigen energy. And expansion coefficient is uh, expected answer from your homework square root pi, square root initial width of your effect, and then some exponential of minus k squared times c point naught divided by 4. It is end of physics and chemistry for the day, and start of math. We, we have to take this integral. Right? And it is a major challenge for me now for you now and for you and you in the weekend because your homework question number three will be an exercise to take integral of the same mathematical shape the arrangements of coefficients will be slightly different like you may have uh, my plus instead of minus you may have a little different um, coefficients in this exponential but it will be very very similar so the tricks that we do now will be applicable to what you do in the homework. Oh, by the way, um, see here is h square and here is h. You can cancel it and have h to the power 1 there. Function phase accumulation, expansion coefficient. So any any suggestions how to take this integral? It would be not a big wonder if some of you suggest uh, right away. You may have taken integrals like this in the past. If not, it, it's not a problem. I'm prepared. Can you merge the two E's? Huh? Can you merge the two E's? Would that make it easier? Uh, two. Or should you just keep point my finger? The two E's that your finger are at right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. One can merge uh, these two E's and put it as an argument, yes. Exponentials. Two exponential is this complicated um, polynomial in the power. So our integration variable is k, right? And here, Actually, you can merge it even with the third. And in the power, on, as an argument of exponential, we have a function of k, of our integration variable. So which maximal power of this polynomial is here? 2. 2. So we have k and k squared. So we need to know how to take integrals of this type. So if you, if you know answer to this problem, then we can uh, just tweak coefficients, make some uh, transformations, and convert this integral into such form. We will see it if time allows today, if not at the very beginning of Monday. But what is the answer of such integral? 
if you do not know, I am so happy that I, I have a chance to, to tell it to you. So it is, um, well, it is an um, important part of higher education. This integral is maybe the only one that is generally applicable to very broad areas of knowledge, including those areas of knowledge that are very far from science, like data analysis and business, accounting, statistics, any areas. Not recalling or not having any ideas? Well, the x e to the power minus k squared, this is our k factor, it will be the same uh, Gaussian shape. We integrate from minus infinity to plus infinity. Right? Integral is summation over this area. So it will be very big or very small number or something reasonable. So the, since it is not infinite, it is finite width shape. If we do not specify width, it will be like one. And the height is also about one. So it is very similar to just square box of width equal one and height equal one. And the answer should be around one, right? So if you are in hectic rush, you can replace answer of this integral to one. And uh, if you if you may be off by like three, four, five times, but generally it will be correct. You will not violate any uh, big sense. You know, you will be correct by the order of magnitude. It's my favorite thing. In math, although I, I hate it. I had my mass in general, but not in, not in here. So here is the trick. You need to take integral of one Gaussian function. Let's call independent variable whatever k or maybe x. So here is the very unusual out of box thinking. If you need to take one integral, why don't you take two? So let's uh, formulate the same integral of different variable, like y. Okay. Now, what if we know that answers will be the same because it is just integration variable? Okay. And it will be nothing wrong if we multiply these two integrals by each other. And then later we will take it to first, second, first, second. Okay? You're with me, you're not objecting. You like it, I promise. If you have a little part of your soul not terribly against math, you will like this chapter, this, this section. Your suggestion two exponentials can be considered as one exponential with summation of arguments. Mm -hmm. Following your ideas. Your word is my word. X squared plus Y squared. If we are thinking about geometry, two-dimensional space, what is X, y plus, uh, y squared, X squared plus Y squared? You don't hesitate, you, you, you know it. Circle. <laughs> and uh, the x square plus y square will be radius of the circle. Right? Good. What is dx times dy? Geometrically. Forget algebra, forget calculus, think geometrically. So d. In the infinitely small area? Yes, infinitely small area. <coughs> so we need to add together, we split the space on, on, on these little squares, and we add together areas of this infinitely small 
elements of every multiplied by function which looks this way. So the function will be maximal in the center and will decrease away from here. So it's like a Mexican national hat, sombrero. Okay. Some bread. It is not symmetric. Rectangular coordinates are not always uh, appetizing. So you may want to convert into the... Which coordinates? Four. Four, yes. So what is the element of area in the polar coordinates where we specify instead of rectangular blocks we have this uh, segment specified by angle d phi and we have the infinitesimal increment of radius. So how do we express the, this element of area in the polar coordinates? R and D, R and D there. Why? Well, why? Yes. Because um, I used to know, I lost it. Well, I was trying to convince myself that if the area is distance squared, <coughs> derivative of distance square will, uh, will be proportional to the first order, but then the increment of the area will be RDR. I don't know if you, if you buy it, but you can spend more time on the writing when you want, but this is a legitimate area of, of such a segment. Let's, let's take it for now so that we do not waste too much time, which is running out. So I'm asking you to believe in this. Now, our integral square will be formulated as the function times element of area, right? And here we integrate over radius and over angle. For radius, we go from 0 to infinity. For angle, we make one full circle from 0 to 2 pi. 2 pi, yes. I should be able to take this integral. Do not give me answer. I want to do it myself. So pi squared integral from zero to infinity d r from zero to two pi d phi e minus r squared r. Right. So let's take first integral over angle. The function doesn't depend on angle, right? So it is independent variable, we can put it in a box. Integral of u function d phi from 0 to 2 pi. Correct? So integral of 1 will be phi, and then we need to change it to explore it at values from 0 to 2 pi. So the answer will be how much? 
Yes. Two pi. And then the rest is integral from zero to infinity r dr p minus r squared. How do I take this integral? Um, how do we take integrals in, in, in general? What is the rule? Well, you, you have several tricks from calculus, but one of them is to place, submerge, dive, insert function and under the symbol of differenti differentiation to have like, can you put this one under D symbol and pay some price for it? Okay. Integral zero infinity. So R times D R can be cast as D over R square over two, right? If you take derivative of R square, we get two R and cancel this two. D R square over two. So this two cancels this, this two, and here we have minus R square. Good. I don't like R square. It's too complicated for me. Can I replace whether symbol r square to letter u as new variable no one forbids so then it will be integral by front from zero to infinity d u times e minus u oh, i want to solve problems only on this level of complexity <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to, to do anything more complex. So what is integral of, of exponential? Negative exponential. Yeah, but in simple word, if a strange in, in store catches you and asks, what is the integral of exponential? You will not give the answer. It's like exponential again, right? Okay. And um, exponential, right? Exponential, and then we explore it at which limits from zero to infinity right what is exponential of infinity if the power is negative so e to the power minus infinity equals one how much uh, one uh, another try no. zero much better so gotcha. The exponential decrease, 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 e minus u, and gets to zero. And what is uh, exponential of zero? One. Yes. <coughs> so we subtract zero, and uh, the one comes up from because we have different sign in this differential and in the power of exponential. Minus pi times minus one. What will be the answer? Pi. So the area under Mexican sombrero equals pi. Mathematical work. Now, but it was trick. We need, uh, we found i square, but we need i. Right? So what will be the answer for i? Yes, perfect. You are accomplished mathematicians from now on. Most of problems of modern math can be reduced to, to, this, to this problem. It's it's substantial part. So integral of Gaussian function can be cast as pi, square root of pi. Okay, I'm not sure if you have time to complete everything, but we will start. So now our reaction, our mathematical experiment, is almost done. 
and you are almost prepared to, to do your homework. So we know the answer for Gaussian integral. And you see that here is the boring list of polynomial of second power, right? If you start, you know, uh, mathematical derivations is repeating almost the same expression again and again, practicing of code that takes most of time. If we keep all these notations, it's correct that spending most of your time, why don't we set up a dictionary? to simplify this notation to such extent that you can quickly write again one step, another step, get answer, and then translate our short answer back into this long form. So we want to go from long to short. You can take notes because there will be nothing else. We already have the answer. The answer of any integral of e to the power minus uh, second power independent variable square root of pi. You get just some constants. And we need to convert our expression to this form. It's like boring, dirty work. Uh, and the thing to simplify it is through such not very intellectual tricks. Make it shorter. So we can call this uh, everything except k. So minus i times x will be a constant. Everything except k squared here. So this h bar over to m times t will be b constant. If, and we need also to add this minus uh, initial width. You know, let's see, I block it here. But you have the definition here. So you put everything plus whatever was contributed from the initial condition. So you replace long integral by this short form where shorthand notations A, B, and C defined this way. You can do it similar way in your homework. The definitions will be different, but in fact, you need to take integral of this one. Now, how much does it differ from the integral that we know how to take? From the simple uh, e to the minus k square dk. Is it, does it differ much? How can we bring this <coughs> into this one? we can convert this expression into some new variable that you that you'll be uh, everything is factored and then just instead of k squared minus b k then change it into some other constant do you can you repeat once again you factor it into two equal factors and then make that or just put those together for squared Yes, 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 it's an excellent plan. I was thinking similar way. So we need to convert E. Um, if you need to go to the next meeting, you're free to leave. I will not give any uh, new signs, but I think it is, we have uh, 1150. I just, for those who are curious, I will uh, tell a couple of words more, but it is not mandatory. We will continue. So. If we do it, we'll continue on Monday. It's just a little bit of words that may help towards your homework. So the idea about factorization we can identify uh, this polynomial, find that it may have a form of full square, and this, th then this full square will be a new variable. Okay. But here we do have only two terms. 
and for full square we need three. So where do we get the third term? We can always add and subtract. Okay. So this is the same k times k squared, but we can replace it as new variable squared, right? Then in the terms of these uh, variables, we can uh, cast our second term, which is linear in k, as uh, by multiplying and dividing by the same factor, we will identify the variable a, q, and then the rest will be variable b, okay? And then the next step is to add and subtract such thing that is missing here for identifying a full square. So we add this uh, b over q over a and subtract. So if you do it this way, then we will we are having integral dk e to the power minus a squared plus two a b plus b squared times e plus b squared. Right? And this thing can, can be identified into a new variable and this will be our price for doing this trick. So that's your subtraction? Yes, it is my subtraction. Well, addition, it is sine plus and sine minus comes here. Okay. This uh, little b gotcha. does not depend on k. So it is not a function of, 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 of k. Therefore, we, we are not going to, integrate, to use it for integration. We can place it just up front and then take integral all the way on uh, uh, whatever is here. Good. So we identify full square. Then we can change a little bit this k variable to match whatever needs to be done. And then the this part with very simple manipulations can be converted into square root of pi. Any one of us can do it. It's just boring in, um, two extra minutes. And then it is pi times this price factor. So the answer, basically this price factor is the meat is what gives us the important thing. And if we plug in to this simple answer our dictionary, then we will get something that is interesting to analyze from a scientific point of view. So if you follow the same idea, the same protocol for your homework, if no errors, if you're careful, I promise 40 minutes and you're done. Well, if it is a sequence of failures, you will repeat this 40 minute uh, line a couple of times. But it is doable. And thank you for staying longer than needed. It's my favorite site. The meeting is finally complete. Have a nice weekend and see you on the